October 5th, Madison Square Garden. Gennady Golovkin is going to be fighting Sergei Derevyanchenko for the vacant IBF middleweight strap. It's a belt that was made vacant after it was taken off Canelo, as they couldn't come up with a deal to fight Derevyanchenko. I don't think Cinnamon ducked him. It sounded just like it was the IBF probably being quite stringent, as they usually are, with deadlines, which is good in a way, but can sometimes be frustrating when we're trying to get an undisputed champion. Now, the first time Golovkin won the IBF belt was back in 2015, when he smashed it out of the hands of David Lemieux in one of his more, I think, polished kind of performances where he really utilised the jab. And I think it's just that kind of approach which he's going to need to get the better of the technician. The technician being Derevyanchenko's nickname. He is a very complete fighter. He does everything well. The feet, the feet are very good, his footwork, he's got all that amateur experience, the defence is tight, and he knows how to fight on the inside, which is a bit of a lost art with the amount referees break fighters. And a lot of people make the mistake of thinking inside fighting is just leaning on the other man, trying to drain him, bully him, and just wing away. It's more about how you position yourself in that space, pushing them away with the shoulder, with the forearm, and picking the necessary shots, going body to head, head to body, and he knows how to do that. The problem for me I see with Derevyanchenko is he's not got much of a punch, and he's not physically strong really either. In his last fight against Jack Colke, I think April of this year, which he deserved to win on points, he didn't look particularly great. It wasn't complete enough for me, the performance. There were times when Colke fancied his chances, and he pushed him back, started winging it away, and even hurt him a little bit. So that's not that promising for a guy known as the technician. Derevyanchenko hasn't had that many fights in his pro career. So I think he's a fairly young early 30s guy. But neither of these guys are spring chickens. Golovkin at 37 each training camp is just going to put those extra few miles on the clock. Though it will be done meticulously and with great consideration for impact on his joints and all that. Golovkin was never a fast fighter anyway, and maybe Derevyanchenko can take advantage of that. But I feel Golovkin's thudding jab, well-timed, his extra power, and that physical strength inside is going to allow him to dictate most of these rounds. Now, in Derevyanchenko's corner, we have got Andre Rosia, and this will be the third time of his trying to defeat Gennady Golovkin. He tried it back in 2013 when he was in the corner of Curtis Stevens. He tried it with Danny Jacobs back in 2016, and now he's trying it again. So if there is a man, if he has indeed been paying attention and downloading the Golovkin data, if you will, surely he is going to be able to put a bit of an X factor on Dervianchenko's performance and maybe get more out of him. But ultimately, I think talent is what's going to dictate this, and Golovkin is going to win it, probably over points. Now, what Golovkin does with the rest of his career, I'm not so sure. He's still contracted to do quite a few fights with Dazen, but I'm not really sure about what's the end goal here other than just making a lot of more money. I don't want to see a third Canelo fight. I haven't got the appetite for it, and it really just favours Canelo now, doesn't it, where they're at in their careers. So, Golovkin to win for me on points.